Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install the SQL cipher on Ubuntu Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know, in my last video we have installed SQLite 3 and we created a sample database named company. So in order to connect to this database, I will just type SQLite 3, then the name of my database, which is company.db. So here we go. We can actually see a dump of this database using the command dot dump. And here we go. Now you can see actually that we have created a table named contacts and we insert three rows into this table okay so let me exit this database using the command quit and as you can see here in my desktop i have the file associated with this database so let's try to open this file using any hex editor you want so i will use the hex dump which is an utility in linux that can actually view the hexadecimal format of any file so i will just use it with the option minus c capital then provide the name of my file okay so as you can see now we can actually see the data inside this database inside this sqlite database so all the data are in plain text so how can we actually encrypt the data in our SQLite database? So in order to do that, there is a program or extension for SQLite called SQL Cipher. So let's install it. So I will use the command apt-get install. Then the name of this program, which is SQL cipher so we have to provide root privileges I will answer yes okay now the packages are being installed in our machine Okay, now we have finished install this extension. So let's try to open it. SQLite or SQL Cipher actually. So as you can see now, we can type the help.help .help command and we see all the commands that we can use with this utility. So I'll try to create a database but this time it will be an encrypted database okay so let's for example I will quit so I will just type SQL cipher and the name of my database so I will call it just encrypt and company always.db okay here we go so now in order to encrypt this database with a key or passphrase we have to provide the parameter called pragma so I'll just type pragma then the key which is our passphrase you can put it whenever passphrase you want so I'll just type secret for example and semicolon but here we go now we have created our database okay so let's for example uh, create a table so let's create a table for example contacts I will make the same example as before so ID as integer and a name as varkar 50 and function 
or title also varkar 50 okay so let's create some uh, inserts so i will insert my first row insert into contacts some values here so i will just type one for example john smith John Smith and as title it's an employee here we go let's add another one I think I made a mistake because our table is named contact and not contacts so I will delete s at the end of my table okay here we go Let's add another row, for example, Carl Lewis. Which is, let's say, director, for example. So we can execute simple query. Select all from contact. And here we go we have our two rows okay so now let's try to open this database with actually hex editor so i will quit i will use the same hex editor command line minus c capital then provide the name of my database so as you can see now all the data has been encrypted you cannot see the plain text of our data so with this extension actually we succeeded to create an encrypted database okay so let's open the same database but this time not with sql cipher but with sql tree or sqlite tree so I'll just type SQLite tree, then the name of the database encrypted. Okay. So let's try to dump the content of my database. And we get an error because we didn't provide actually the key or passphrase. So as you can see here, file is encrypted or not a database okay so you cannot actually access it if you don't know the exact passphrase so let's try to provide the passphrase this time so i will just type pragma and provide the key which is secret So let's now try to dump we cannot access the file so the only way if you want to actually dump this database is to use the sql cipher extension okay so i'll use sql cipher and the name of my database let's dump it we get the same error because we didn't provide actually the passphrase so let's provide it pragma and the key is secret here we go let's now dump it and we have now succeeded to see the schema or of our database so with the SQL cipher extension we can actually create our encrypted database okay so that was just a brief introduction to how to use the SQL cipher extension to SQLite on Ubuntu Linux as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing
Bye bye.